Let's talk about utilizing Ahrefs for Google Ads, whether you're setting up a new campaign, trying to optimize your existing campaign. There's just so much data that you can get from Ahrefs to determine what's going on in your niche and what you need to be doing. So the first thing, uh, you'll need to get Ahrefs. It's a paid tool. I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up and everything. But once you get logged into Ahrefs, you just put a domain name in here, maybe yours, one of your competitors, depending on what you're wanting to look at and then from there you just click this search feature and it's going to pull up all this data where we can see all the organic stuff that's happening on their site which is going to be these two panels here and then of course the paid traffic that is coming through from here we could click right into the keywords and the ads and the traffic right from here or you can come down to the paid search area and click on paid keywords, ads, and paid pages. When you do that, it's going to bring up these the paid keywords. It's going to look like this, where we can actually see 3,311 3, keywords that Best Buy is currently using in their Google Ads. Right. On top of that, you'll notice that there's a lot of these new ads showing up that just showed up like or got updated within the last couple of days. And if we look over here, we can also see that there's some um, things starting to pick up here. You can see that their paid pages and traffic are starting to pick up pretty drastically. And it's October. We're headed into November and December. And, of course, Best Buy is going to be hitting things hard going into the holiday season. So it's kind of cool that you can just put, put uh, Best Buy in and see exactly when they start ramping up their Google Ads every year in order to capture as much of that holiday traffic as they possibly can, right? So quite interesting. You might see that your competitors are starting to ramp things up or maybe they scale things back going into the holiday season, in which case you can just use that to your advantage, right? So there's all sorts of different data you can dig into here. You can see what percentage of the traffic they're getting from paid versus organic, which is super helpful. So like laptop, a majority of people that go to Best Buy for the term laptop find the, the uh, site through organic rather than paid ads. Whereas something like HP computers, it's 100% paid traffic. Same with Bose. And Apple Mac Mini is almost entirely paid traffic as well. We also have the keyword difficulty, so we can see how hard it is to rank for organic. The search volume, the cost per click, so we know how much it's going to cost on Google Ads. The traffic, change, organic traffic, and the position. And we can also see the ad right here. If we just hover over this little uh, search icon, it'll actually pop up the ad. So we can kind of get a sneak peek of what the ad looks like that they are running for these different keywords. And of course we can see the URL that they're sending the traffic to. And then there's further breakdowns over here so we can see the ad position history over the last six months. And it looks like Bose was the number one for a while <clears throat> until we run into the holiday season and then Best Buy and Bose start duking it out it looks like. <laughs> and then we have the SERP, so the search engine results page. So this is going to be basically the search results across the whole page. And then we can see that there's two ads up here at the top, which is going to be Bose and Best Buy, which makes sense. And of course, we can see all sorts of different data over here as far as what's going on with these uh, ranked sites. But also see the different uh, things that are on the search engine results page so that's going to be like the google page when you do a search for bose you're going to see ads up at the top paid site links site links shopping results thumbnails and people also ask so very helpful to know what's even able to show up on a keyword and there may be some keywords that don't even have ads showing up on them right or, or not at, up at the top. <laughs> Maybe all the ads just show up at the bottom, right? Like this one, Best Buy Davenport. There's only ads that show up at the bottom of the page. And so, you know, it may not be worth 
paying to have your ad show up at the very bottom of Google because not very many people go to the bottom of Google, right? All sorts of helpful information. This is just the paid keywords page. Then we can come over to the ads and then we can see a breakdown of all of the ads. So like I was showing you in the other one, when you hover over these, you can see these ads. Well, this is just showing you the ads straight up here so that you can see uh, what's going on. And then of course you can see a further breakdown here in terms of what URL they're using, the keyword, all that different stuff. So this is just sort of um, a different way to look at it. The paid pages also quite interesting and being able to see the performance, you know, we can even change the time frame that we're wanting to see the performance for. Uh, but the, the, the other big part of running ads is where you're sending your traffic to, right? So the ad copy and the keywords are really important, but also what happens after somebody clicks on your ad? That's the other big piece. And we can come in here, we could even export all these URLs and analyze them and see where they're running their ads to and what's going on on those pages and how we could improve our pages to be better than what these, you know, this company is doing, for instance. And we can also see how much they're spending on all these keywords and a whole bunch of different stuff. So I won't go into every single detail about how all this stuff works. I kind of want to just give you a brief overview of, you know, Ahrefs for Google Ads, how you would use it, how you can look at your competitors, figure out what's going on so that you can then improve things for yourself. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything you did have questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. Just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step by step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.